It's late on a Friday night at the end of the year 2022. I have here an empty Glencairn glass. I have here a sample sent to me by Donner Pass Whiskey. Now, it's a little bit hard to read because something leaked on it. But here it says Glen Scotia single cask 98 3 of 2006 and 11 of 2018 12 year uh, something MC 50, 57 0.4% alcohol by volume. First fill, bourbon, non-chill, filtered and not colored and peated. So Glen Scotia. I have had some good Glen Scotias in the past. Notably, Victoriana. Now this, this might be like that. Or it might be very different. But I'm willing to pour a glass and try it and see what I get. <sighs> Did it say bourbon barrel? First fill bourbon. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting the first fill bourbon. Caramel bourbon, uh, caramel, like I said. Um, Some vanilla, but there's something else. There's a bit of a sour note. Sometimes, I guess, for first fill bourbon would give that sour note. There's something fruity going on, too. Something like the maraschino cherries, or the, the cherries that you get that have been marinated from a Del Monte fruit cup. Oh, I'm getting a lot of Del Monte fruit cup in here. There might even be some pineapple juice and some, some stuff from peaches and apricots going on. Oh, this is lovely. This is nice. This is pleasant. This is not what I expected. Let's get the last drops into that glass, shall we? And it's a. Uh, it also says on here, my favorite Glen Scotia. Ooh. And this is the one sent to me by. Donner Pass Whiskey. And this is Donner Pass's favorite Glen Scotia. Woo! It is really, really, really pleasant on the nose. And I wish that I could be a little more sober at this point, but I've been uh, sampling whiskey for the last... Uh, Oh, almost three hours. And this, this is a beauty. Mm. Oh, got to wash that down.
at what was it, 57.4. This is a high ABV. This is strong stuff. And of course, the label is kind of washed out by something that leaked on it. But that's okay. It happens. It does happen. 100%. X first fill bourbon. Oh. That's a style of whiskey that I enjoy. First fill bourbon matured. Maybe fifty seven point four per cent is a little high for my tastes. But I will most likely water it down just a little bit and make it a little more easy drinking. But so far, I am enjoying the nose. It's got that beautiful, uncomplicated, first fill, ex bourbon nose. And on the palate, it's quite beautiful. Though maybe a little bit on the hot side. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this wonderful Glen Scotia. Sent to me by Donner Pass Whiskey. Thank you, Tim. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Or should I say, Slanchava? add a bit more water because it's high okay I'm sure this can take it sure now hopefully this has taken enough of the heat out of it and made it more palatable and drinkable for me Yeah. I hope I didn't drown this. But right now it's just pleasant. Oh, 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 that's just right. I see exactly why you call this your favorite. Favorite Glen Scotia. Wow. That is nice. It's got that pure X first fill bourbon unadulterated, not messed with whiskey flavor. Hmm. Oh, this is a beauty. This is right up there. with my whiskey of the year for 2022. 
the bimber. The bimber single malt. I love this style of whiskey. This style of whiskey that is first fill, ex bourbon cask, wet cask, with single malt added to the cask to fill it up. And f matured for however long it takes, in this case, 12 years. to make the whiskey just right. I've added, I think, two half spoons of water to this, which makes it just perfect. Oh, I am in heaven right now. Thank you once again, Donner Pass Whiskey, Tim, for this wonderful experience what a beautiful whiskey I will enjoy what's left of this while I edit the video Slanchova Food Queen <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. <laughs> <laughs>